This is a, a high-end Trimble GPS unit. It gets down to like sub-meter accuracy. What I'll do is I'll take the points and then I can go home and it's called differentially correcting where you use base stations that are known locations. And these points will get corrected down to like just a couple centimeters of where they are. And they need that in order to when they run the fire model to be that precise because of how the fire front will move because it is moving in very small increments. We think it moves, it appears to us as when we watch it that's really fast, but it's a really small movement. So I don't know if you can see, but all the way down through here, I've gone in and I've made, I've donated names of all the points. So like all the corners on the plots that we're gonna burn, like where every single anemometer is setting, like where the plane is setting. So every single thing will get marked on the fire ground. And then that way we can use those as reference points as well to keep track of where the fire front is in relationship to all the different points of equipment that we have marked on the ground. You don't want to see much. San Diego State University has two SODAR units and the Forest Service has a third SODAR unit and they're positioned at either end of the burn plots and in the middle of the burn plot. And the SODAR units use sound. SODAR stands for Sound Detection and Ranging. It's like radar except it uses sound waves to detect wind speeds. And so we can measure the wind speed at various altitudes above the ground up to about 600 feet we can measure can measure the wind speed in all three directions, so two in the horizontal direction and one in the vertical direction with that. And we can use that then as the input to our mathematical model to see how the fire spreads with respect to the wind speed. We're from the uh, U.S. Forest Service uh, Missoula Fire Sciences Laboratory and uh, we're uh, deploying instrumentation that measures uh, fire intensity and airflow wind flow and uh, air temperature um, and the data we collect is uh, useful for calibrating or, or improving fire models that are used by uh, fire managers to more effectively, efficiently and safely manage fires. Uh, we have uh, quite a bit of instrumentation out here. We've got like uh, 40 uh, 10 foot tall towers that measure wind speed and direction and we have uh, about 15 to 20 sensors that measure fire intensity and air temperature and uh, we've got uh, video cameras that we put in the fire uh, to capture video footage which is, we've always found very useful for understanding what the fire is doing. The instrument here is called a, a SODAR. And what it does is it measures uh, measures the wind profile uh, 200 feet above the ground, and it uses sound waves to do that. Uh, it sends out sound waves at, at inter periodic intervals and uh, measures the sound waves as they bounce off the uh, air all the way up to 200 feet, and 
by the time difference between when it's transmitted and received, you can uh, calculate the wind speed at various uh, heights and gaps. I understand that we are going to do is on the far side of the research plot, plot number one, from the middle of the plot, the light and go out like this with the drip torch. Uh, notifications have all been put in. We'll notify just before uh, we get ready to ignite. Uh, looks like the best ignition time is going to be right around noon. Uh, so we will get everything in place uh, by noon and shortly after. Uh, I'll check with Alex. Alex, if you could check with all the other research components to make sure they've got everything they need. Uh, and then once that's in place, uh, we'll verify that we're go and then we'll ignite the block.